well, taking a unique victory lap today on Wind Tunnel is a man that, well, he's been at this for quite some time. But thanks to his two primary speedways, Autodrome Granby and RPM Speedway, joining the Advanced Auto Parts NASCAR Series in 2022, he ended up being considered a rookie. Uh, Steve Bernier uh, joins us, the Advanced Auto Parts National Rookie of the Year. And to help us out, because uh, they are French-Canadian, is the uh, owner of both uh, Autodrome Grand B and RPM Speedway, Dominic Lucier. Dominic, I want to start with you. Did you ever in your wildest dreams think that Steve was going to be awarded a Rookie of the Year title with as many victories as he's had on your dirt tracks throughout his career? No, it was uh, it was uh, something very special, or uh, something we didn't uh, talk before the starting our our, our history with NASCAR. Uh, Steve uh, won in the past 132 uh, feature win, uh, and being new with NASCAR, all those guys w- w- was considered as a rookie. So they they all battle uh, for the the rookie, uh, whatever if it was national championship or regional championship. So Steve, uh, Steve uh, got, got the championship. Uh, it, it was a close battle, but uh, yeah, we. It, I think it was uh, something uh, we we kind of laugh because because uh, it was uh, uh, we didn't expect uh, like a twenty some uh, like season uh, guy uh, to to win a rookie uh, title. So Steve, I'm interested. Adding rookie of the year to all of your championships, does that remind you to stay forever young? Steve, Jake, il veut savoir si d'avoir euh, gagné un championnat de recrues, si ça t'amène à vouloir rester euh, jeune longtemps. Oui, je pense que je pense que d'un, d'un c'était, c'était drôle un petit peu le, le fait de se battre pour euh, la recrue de l'année cette année. Mais euh, tant mieux si, euh, si ça peut tenir mon cœur jeune euh, encore une couple d'années pour euh, avoir la passion des courses. Yeah, Steve Hope, uh, it's going to keep him young uh, to, to be able to, like, uh, I've got that, that championship. And uh, it was fun to, uh, to battle to get, to get that championship for sure. Like, uh, like there were money. Uh, like, it, I think it's a big award to, to go to the, uh, to the NASCAR banquet uh, that will be uh, uh, in Indianapolis this, this year. So, yeah, fun thing for Steve. And uh, it may uh, get, keep him uh, uh, with a young spirit at least. Steve, what's been the key to your success behind the wheel of that dirt modified? C'est quoi le, le secret que tu as eu de, pour gagner toutes ces courses là puis ces championnats là avec ton ton modifié? Euh, premièrement, c'est euh, ça s'est fait en équipe avec mon frère, mais de deux, je pense, c'est vraiment l'acharnement au travail puis euh, la compréhension de la voiture puis du sport. Uh, Steve is involved in racing on dirt, uh, dirt track uh, for uh, at least 20 years. Uh, I think to, to get all those successes with, with his team, uh, Steve uh, had the chance to uh, race uh, with and against his brother, which is another uh, the top runner at our racetrack. Uh, so they, they, they team up uh, trying to improve uh, both car and uh, both, both, both their, uh, their season. Uh, they, they, they are both known as a uh, hard work uh, driver. They know their car. They, they work very hard to uh, improve their car. Uh, it's not uh, the, the, those guys are not the easiest for a racetrack promoter or owner, <laughs> but uh, for sure, hard, hard work is a key. <laughs> I, I, Dominic, uh, owning two racetracks and having been my family owning a a half mile track Stafford Speedway for almost 50 years now. It's not something that you do to make a lot of money. It's something that you do because you have a passion for the sport. So how did this all come about for you? (laughs) You know, as if double your trouble, double your fun, two racetracks that you operate there in Canada, north of the border. Yeah. I think when we took our, those decisions, I was uh, younger. I was uh, 30 for the first racetrack and maybe 32, 33 for the second one. I think I was crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, for, for sure, for sure, it's a uh, passion. Uh, I've been racing myself from 88 to 2009. Uh, I raced against Steve a few times uh, those, uh, those years. 
and uh, I had the opportunity to buy uh, To Drum Grimby, the first track. Um, didn't know at all what it was, uh, to uh, how, how difficult or how challenging it was to own a racetrack and uh, make driver happy, fan happy, and, and uh, find our way uh, to do that and, uh, and be happy on, on our side. Uh, when we bought RPM Speedway, like a few years after, I think it's three years, uh, our, our thought was that it's going to be easier and not that much more difficult to get a second track because there's many things we do one place that, that will be done at the other one. We forgot that we would work 40 uh, Friday and Saturday night during the summer and uh, all the preparation before the event, during the event, after the event was uh, a stressy thing and uh, it would uh, take a bunch of time. Uh, we're lucky. We have many uh, a good race team, uh, like a good crowd that is coming to see those guys on the track. Um, uh, we find our way to get some fun to do it. Uh, for sure, it's not our first way of uh, of uh, getting money to live. Uh, we have a, like a, I own a GM dealership. Uh, I have two very good partner that help me like in in, in uh, building those events and and uh, making the, those show happen. So uh, yeah, still uh, uh, very much passion about doing it. Uh, every summer that is ending, we're we're uh, getting like a few a day or a few weeks to uh, to rest and then start back the scheduling and and uh, I'll get for sure some time with our like uh, top team and and listening to what they want what what they want us to improve and yeah that's part of our uh, living for the last thirteen year. So Steve. Now that you're part of the NASCAR group, do you have NASCAR aspirations? Would you like to give it a try in a truck or an Xfinity series, something like that? Or are you strictly, I'm going to stay on dirt and I'm going to run my modified and I'm just going to win championships? Ce serait le fun d'essayer une voiture euh, sur l'asphalte, peut-être au Canada, là, euh, dans les séries qui, qui courent avec nous. Euh, je serais curieux de voir quest ce que je suis capable de faire sur l'asphalte. Mais écoute, euh, on excelle tellement sur le dirt que euh, c'est sûr qu'on va continuer euh, à encore s'améliorer et à gagner encore plus de titres euh, dans score hein, avec, euh, avec les voitures dirt. Là, mais oui, c'est de quoi qui, qui me chicote un petit peu. Uh, I know Steve's story. So, uh, the, the, like he, he did some race on pavement in a dwarf car beginning of the, like, uh, I think end of 1990 or beginning of uh, 2000. Uh, yeah, for sure to bring NASCAR back, uh, uh, here in, on, on, not back, but to bring NASCAR on, uh, on our dirt track, uh, open our eyes and Steve's eyes to what, what's happening on pavement. Uh, there's some curiosity about driving like a pavement car. Uh, we're we're, uh, we're working to get the Pinty's Canadian NASCAR series on on dirt, but they like we 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 know many teams that owns car. Uh, so Steve would be uh, curious to run one, but uh, their like their their team is so involved in in dirt dirt, dirt racing and and in modified racing that his uh, his uh, focus will stay uh, will stay with with what we're doing right now and uh, our, our NASCAR sanction track on dirt. Well, I, I would love to see the Pinty series on dirt. I would give anything to see Tagliani and some of those, those other knuckleheads try to tackle dirt <laughs> and be as good as Steve is. And it would certainly give him the home field advantage. Listen, you two, it, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. The reach that auto racing has. And we here in the United States underserved, our Canadian brethren, because I grew up in the Northeast. I know just how strong, uh, you know, Canadians just love their racing. And especially when COVID-19 hit, there were an awful lot of them that couldn't go and enjoy stateside racing. We couldn't go North to Canadian motorsports park. It's now, thank heavens, the, uh, the, the, the borders are open again. And I'm looking forward to maybe getting up to Autodrome or RPM, because I love the modifieds on dirt and I would love to see Steve win yet another championship. Steve, I appreciate your visiting with us. Congratulations on your championship and rookie of the year. And Dominic, it's good to have you in the family. Welcome to the world of NASCAR. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you, Zach.